Labour have said that they will remove the whip off Labour MPs if they vote against the two child benefit cap. When I first saw this, I was like, do you know what? You know, it sounds like hearsay because it's so unbelievably bad. I wanted confirmation on it because we know how low the Labour Party can go. But that low, in terms of optics, that is horrendous. But it has been reported from three separate journalists. Co-editor of Tribune, Taj Ali, he said this on Twitter, told Labour whips are threatening to remove whip from any Labour MP that votes for the amendment calling for the abolition of the two-child limit, the single biggest driver of child poverty in the country. If true, that is shameful. So much for country first, party second. Jessica Elgott, she says, MPs say Labour whips are really laying it on thick with warnings to potential rebels on the SNP two child benefit amendment. One says it is all stick rather than any promises on the issue itself. Another describes the tactics as astonishing. Nadine Bachelor Hunt, she works for Politics Home, she retweeted Elgar and said this. I've heard similar stuff, have been told senior Labour MPs planning on voting for the SNP amendment have been threatened with having the whip removed, currently unclear on what happens if people abstain. I am absolutely astonished. And now a lot of you people watching will be saying, how are you still astonished? And I think just when you think Labour can't go any lower, just when you think you've managed your expectations from them, they still manage to shock you. Now, this is supposed to be the Labour Party. They're supposed to be the party that looks like for the most vulnerable people in society. We were told from Starmer supporters, Labour supporters, that those of us on the left who continually criticise the, La the Labour Party, who say they're going to vote for independence or for the Green Party, that we are privileged, right? We are the middle class, left wing privileged people who can handle a Tory government because we don't get our purest politics of hard left socialism and that actually any Labour government will protect the most vulnerable and poorest people in society. And for a long time, for years, I've said this, it's a load of bullshit. They won't do that. In fact, all they will do, and as we can see, is protect the very richest in society because they've had billionaires upon billionaires back in the party. Now, there is no excuse for this. To say, it's, it's one thing to say, we're not going to scrap the two-child benefit cap, and their reasoning behind it is because of these stupid fiscal rules, because they can't find the money for it, apparently, even though, I mean, we cover this on uh, Normal Island. Keir Starmer said he would pledge £3 billion a year to Ukraine indefinitely. That's a policy pledge which is unfunded. Again, I've got no issue sending money to Ukraine to fight Russia. But that is still an unfunded policy. Yet the two child benefit cap, according to Rachel Reeves, would cost three billion to scrap it. You could tax the wealthy. The money's right there. But it's another thing to turn around and say, if you vote for this, if you vote to scrap the two child benefit cap, you would no longer be a Labour MP and you wouldn't be a Labour candidate at the next election. You would be kicked out the party. Now, Keir Starmer has said multiple times, and obviously Taj Ali said the same thing here, that oh, I, I put country before party. No, you don't. This is quite literally putting party before country. Now, one of the reasons why they, I mean, they're threatening to withdraw the whip is because it's an SNP motion. Now, a similar thing happened for the ceasefire vote. The SNP, on their own opposition day, it was their day to put a bill out and they called for a ceasefire. And Labour went after people inside the party who were going to vote for the SNP motion um, because they didn't want to give credit to the SNP. They worked with the Speaker at the time to basically push out the SNP's own motion on their own opposition day and Labour came up with, a, with their own watered down ceasefire deal and then they said oh any Labour MP can vote for this again putting party before country they're doing it again they don't want Labour MPs to side with the SNP they think that damages the look of the Labour Party so instead of saying do you know what we're going to work with other people in Parliament to lift half a million children out of poverty they are playing politics with people's lives they are playing politics with children and they're saying we're going to kick you at the party the party that's supposed to look after these people because they're voting to scrap it. It is fucking disgusting. It is lower than low. The Labour Party are a bunch of vermin bastards. Everything we hate about the Tories, their policies, the way they treat poor people, the way they treat disabled people, their austerity measures, their cuts to uh, universal credit and the welfare state is becoming true under the Labour Party. And if you have any principles, any morals about you, you will be just as angry regardless of which party does it. It doesn't matter if it's, if it's the blue team 
or the red team. If Labour want to punish people who are in poverty, then they are just as much scum as the Conservative Party are. Now, I want to know what Starmer supporters and current Labour loyalists will say to this. Now, we've seen with every single bad decision the Labour Party has made over the last five years, you would think, do you know what? This is the, this is the thing that breaks the camel's back. The loyalist cultist Starmer supporters will turn around and say, do you know what? I can't support this. And they never do. So I'm fully expecting there to be excuses here. Now, it's very possible that, because there's mixed messages here in how serious the threat is, maybe they actually will remove the whip. Maybe they won't and they're just trying to trying to scare their MPs into it. That makes no difference, really, does it? It's still disgusting. You are still coercing your own MPs to vote against their conscience and to vote to keep half a million children in poverty. So even if you're just, if it's just an empty threat, that is vile. That is truly vile. This is a political choice. Whenever Rachel Reeves goes on TV and says, oh, we can't afford it. It's too expensive. We are responsible for finances. It's bullshit. It is crap. They are making a political choice just like when the Conservatives do. When the Conservatives decide to cut universal credit, they are making a political choice. When the Conservatives cut our public services but refuse to increase corporation tax, they are making a political choice. Labour are doing the exact same political choices. But so many people in the media think, well, these are obviously the good guys because they're the Labour Party. It doesn't matter. Keir Starmer is just as much as a conservative as the rest of the Tory party. Same with Rachel Reeves. Same with Wes Streeting. These people are nasty. Labour are the nasty party. It is absolutely insane. And I, I'm reeling right now because this news has just dropped. And I'm still thinking, surely this cannot be right. Surely. But here we are. Change Labour Party for sure. I mean, there is literally no reason to vote Labour, is there? I mean, what's the point of kicking out the Tories when they're going to implement the same policy. It is insane. I mean, this is a Tory policy. The Labour Party won't scrap it. When Labour tell you we are the Conservatives, why are we the crazy ones who point this out? Why are we the purest hard left people who clearly say when it comes to economic policy, they're exactly the same. When it comes to social policy, they're the same. I and mean, we're streeting saying that he wants to ban puberty blockers. That is a Conservative policy and Labour now want to bring it in permanently. What is the difference between these two parties? Oh, because Keir Starmer is a bit more diplomatic. He seems like a grown-up. I don't want to hear a single person say to me, the grown-ups are back in charge. They are not. This country is governed by psychopaths. It doesn't matter whether it's the Blue Party or the Red Party. They are literally all the same, and I'm absolutely disgusted. I'm excited to say that Turn Left has significantly grown this year, and with that, we've managed to produce far more ambitious content, interviewing high profile people. We did a 12 hour live election show. There are multiple people behind Turn Left, but we are still working around our full time work. But we would love it if this was our full time. It means we could dedicate so much more and to bring even more ambitious content. So if you've been here from the beginning or you've only recently become a viewer, if you like what we do, then you can help us out. Please like and share this video. Make sure you drop a comment. We want to hear your thoughts. We want to hear your feedback. And we desperately need more independent media. If you want to see a socialist media alternative thrive, then you could be part of that. So if you can, you could support us on Patreon for three or five pounds per month or any one off donation. We can use that money to upgrade our equipment, to rent out a proper studio, and to start paying ourselves. This is only the beginning. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Patreon.com turn left media, support independent media, support social justice that's there on social media. Thank you, turn left.